Alright there, Ron May Yorker here, bringing you another episode of my humble opinion. When I took a, take a look at the games on the month's humble monthly choice bundle. Right here we have Crown Trick from September 2022. Your Majesty, I guess, or Your Highness. like that. Never woke up wearing a crown though. Right, my humble opinion. I'm going to give my view of games on the moment humble monthly choice bundle. Now, the intention is not to have a good view of the whole game. The intention is like when you pick a book off of the shelf and you're thinking, do I want to read this one or any of the million other that, that are out there? I can't read them all. So you glance at the first sentence. Maybe read the first paragraph. If it's got you by then, you might read the first page. If it hasn't got you by then, you're gone. There's so many others. And that's what I'm doing here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. That's it. Can you hook me? Can you hook me? Make me want to see more. This is apparently a role-playing game, a animated role-playing game. With a roguelike feel. <clears throat> Alright, select the focus mode for your choice. Standard mode is fine. Dark game. There it goes. Elemental tiles can also cause negative status effects for enemies. Alright. When using firearms, hold that up. Wake up, but you are chosen. Oh, the chosen one! Female protagonist, why not? Through the dawn, will not grace her with presence. Those who refuse, uh, will not grace her presence. But those who through the dawn will not grace with her presence. Those who refuse to open their eyes. God, that's a complexly written, an overly complex statement. Who's there? There's a throne. Interact. It was fate that led you to this realm. Now come forward, L. And you know my name. At least you are cautious. Hopefully, the ignorance will become tolerable to in time. We are currently in the realm of nightmares. Here I am what humans would consider omniscient. I know everything about you, L. Your name, your past, and even the purpose of your little trip to this realm. Nightmares have brought forth disasters and chaos. As creatures of Earth suffer in endless agony, the world itself is on the brink of destruction. As a chosen hero, you are the, the one they dumped all the responsibilities on. You are the one destined to venture into the unknown and save the whole world. How do you know all this? You're in charge of this nightmare realm. You're the one causing pain and suffering for people. Ever so eager to arrive at erroneous conclusions. How typical of your kind. It's not wrong. You're sure you're it. You are in the presence of the observer and guardian of the nightmare realm. I possess no true name. But you may refer to me as the Crown. And those things coming out of his head, the Crown Jewels. Sorry if I was quick to judge, but it seems I have important work ahead of me. 
If you really are what you claim, you must have an idea of the culprit behind all this. Indeed. The nightmares are caused by none other than one of your own. Someone whose heart is filled with greed. A human by the name of Vlad. Practine Paler? Do you know where he is right now? Patience, girl, impulsiveness will only lead to failure. It all started with a forbidden sacrifice, uh, sacrificial rite performed by Vlad in the Nightmare Realm. With its seals broken, the power of Nightmare runs rampant, causing death and destruction not only in the Nightmare Realm, but your world as well. My powers can no longer contain it. From what I see, you are woefully unprepared as well. Is there anything we can do? Does it mean the world is beyond saving? I suppose I could use some help. It's not like you're going to give me any other choice. How impressive. So the wisest thing you've said since you entered this realm. Now put me on, if you don't mind. Let's depart at once. Alright. Yori, yes, it seems your body has absorbed every drop of power I've provided you. What? What did you put in me? Such fleeting fate, how fickle the human heart is. Worry not, silly girl, but I have no intention of doing you any harm. I've simply cast a few spells to further facilitate our journey. You'll understand in due time, if you say so. Let's go forth, for the fate of both realms now rests in your hands. Definitely the story level... Uh, it's, it's there, isn't it? So it would fit in the channel, I can see that already. Uh, the graphics, the, the, the music and sounds not bad actually. It's different, and I like it. Um, the graphics are not the thing that I would normally choose, but I'm not put off by them. Now, my realm is a different reality, operating on different rules from your world. Here, time is relative. It will flow only when you move. So, take your time. Sometimes waiting for your enemies to approach can be smarter than foolhardy attacks. This is the most fundamental rule of the Nightmare Realm. You would do well to remember it. I've prepared some simple mechanisms ahead. Let's see how well you do. Nightmare Realm operates on a turn based system. Traps and enemies will remain stationary until L moves. Okay. Skip there. Skip. Skip. And we're through. Okay, I get that. Novice treasure hunter. We have a weapon of some kind, by the look of it. Spear of the last defender, is it? It doesn't like, look like you're strong enough to handle any real weapons yet. Here, let me help you with it for now. Your first objective, break those crates so we can move forward. We just run into them, alright. You can also change directions in place. Sometimes better options than actual movements. Yeah, I didn't realise they were holes. I do now. In actual battle, valid strategy to wait in place or do an attempt an empty swing to force the flow of time. Enemies will have no choice but to initiate the battle by approaching you. Attack them when they're in range. <coughs> Here's something you might find helpful. Well, break, but breaking enemies will make your attacks against them more effective. You can reduce the breakpoint of enemies by dealing damage to them. 
When an enemy's breakpoint reaches zero, it will be stunned and receive more damage from hits. So basically, hit them. But you're going to be doing that anyway, because you don't have to kill them. Oh, I got some hits done. Attack can reduce more breakpoints when that or that happens. It appears when an enemy is charging or, be, or being around. No. Okay. Huh? Okay. I thought. Ah, all of. Oh, it's completely around me. I get it. I thought it was just that square that uh, showed it. There we are. One sixty-seven. I hope I can heal soon. There's a potion there. This pot contains water from the fabled healing fountain. It wants me vitality. But your HP and MP will be replenished. Okay, and what's that? Oh. Not sure what these are that I'm gathering, but I'm gathering something. Likewise there. There's some stairs down. And then space interact. So items will require you to select a target uh, before pressing that to use. anything there are we can't go up there so we're going down we're locked in here what's that these are called blink boots which will allow you to move to a specific location instantly over their use it's a limited planet well using blink boots will not consume many turns available blink usage as shown in the blink gauge displayed under L Where? Oh, one. I don't think I need to right now, though. Ah, to get there. Blink is also useful when L needs to get across block tiles. Tiles with elemental aspects. I can't get across there. I can go here. And I can blink. Doesn't look good. Ah, elemental aspect. Ah, I got it. Don't run into the fire. Fire is not speed, despite what my wife told me when we played some uh, World of Warcraft together. One on that, that timed out. They died. Okay. All right. Link. Link. Weak as my powers are right now, I can still replenish the energy with your blink boots. But only while we're here, at the fringe of nightmares. We'll be on your own later on. Ooh, we've got a fire breather, we've got a dragon. Familiars? Oh, familiar anyway. 
Familiars are stronger than normal enemies. Pay extra attention while you're dealing with them. Make sure you take the elixir with you, getting defeated right off the bat could be nice. <laughs> well, we got him! Not bad at all, remember, in Nightmare on Defeated Familiars will be auto command. Alright. Fire Breather! Some skills will require you to select the target before. Okay, press that to activate. I am almost out of everything. Took them down. Decent performance, but you still have a long way to go. Don't get cocky. Yeah, and I'm almost dead because I haven't done that well. Since I'm working the interact available. Okay. Victory! And that's the tutorial level, I guess, or the basic tutorial level. Here we are! What is this place? The Hall of Reincarnation. You may think of it as a safe room in between different realms of nightmares. Impervious to the chaos unfolding outside. Here, we will be able to travel to other dream worlds and resolve the anomalies within. How do you propose we do that? There are no doors to the outside and we're basically trapped here. On control now it is but the same as ignorance. The human's dream by entering a door will be able to travel unfazed within dream realms by falling asleep. It's just you try it by this desk in a bit. Alright, well first of all let's have a walk around shall we? Barrier. Just barriers all over. Yeah, everything's barriers and a little bit of... Okay. Day one, Realm of Nightmares. Waking up in the Nightmare Realm all by herself, Hell encounters a strange crown, claiming to be the guardian of nightmares. According to him, the disasters affecting both realms can be traced to some villain named Duke Vlad. The Vlad... Uh, the, sorry, the Duke is now laying some uh, low somewhere within the nightmares. Defeating him seems to be the only way to bring peace to both realms. Alright. Who's item E? Tower of Sinners. Milia Crystal. I'll put it there. We've got another fire breather, is that it? Harrier Blade, sword. Every time your attack hits target, the cooldown time of all your skills will be reduced by one turn. Alright, and that is. Uh, Spear of Shattering, Charge a Lance. <coughs> Alright, so I get to choose one. Whenever you break an enemy, I'll be able to absorb part of its power and channel it to you. 
if you are somehow able to break another enemy before that power diminishes, you'll be able to keep the circuit. If you may, running and accumulating more velocity and power, not only will it be stronger, your blink boots will be replenished as well. Therefore, it's our mutual benefits that enemies become sick and simply broken in battle. Right, it's hard. Okay. Way here. And the straight fetching uh, enemies' objects directly from your. It will certainly help to keep it for any day. And that's a chest. And a storage unit, we'll have that. Alright, I'm going to stop here. Not because I don't like the game, but because I've got enough insight into it to get an idea of what I think. Right, first off, it completely fits on the channel, let's be honest. Uh, it's something I can make a story out. The story's not deep in this game, it is just a roguelike dungeon crawler. But I can I can tell a story with her and so on, that, that fits on the channel. The graphics? Good enough, I'll give them 7 or 8 out of 10. The music I'll give an 8 or 9, I like it. It's different, I like it. Uh, it's fairly simple, but I do like it. The sounds, 7. They're, they're okay, they do the job. They're not some question. Um, the world? Don't know much about it. It looks like it's a simple dungeon. I'll give it a 7. Well, I say simple dungeon. It's simply a dungeon. The characters, I'm intrigued to know more about her. If we get to know more, I'm guessing we do. I'm intrigued to know more about Crown as well, so already you've got me a couple of characters here that I want to keep exploring and know more. So, I'll give them an 8, just because you, in this short time you've got me wanting more to know more. The controls are very much simple enough, I'll give them an 8. Uh, there's nothing too hard about them, but they seem to have uh, options to pick up different weapons. Um, I'm guessing you get level ups and so on. Um, you certainly seem to get different abilities, so yeah, I gotta say that I'll give that I'll give the controls an eight as well. Uh, there's variety, but it's not overwhelming. And I'm gonna guess, and I could be wrong, that the variety builds as you go. I'm not sure. Oh, blueprints, non obtain relics, or you can get a relic and item uh, items. Okay. I like the, uh, that when you defeat a familiar, it accompanies you, or at least you get its abilities. I do like that. So, overall I'll give this a potential 8. I don't know. Maybe a 7. Move on to my, my basic 4 questions. Is this worth $1.50? Does it pay for its slot on normal bundle? Oh yeah, definitely. It's worth a lot more than that. Is it worth $12? Would I think this is enough to cover the cost of the humble bundle? I don't know if I'll play it again. I probably will. But I'm going to say tentatively yes. I think it would turn into a definitely yes if I could be sure I'd play it again. Will I play it off-channel? Quite possibly. Will I choose to play it on-channel just for me? I might do. I'm not sure. Probably not just for me. It's one of those borderlines. If you want to see it on channel, how much interest do I need to see? One person, two people saying, yeah. Throwing likes onto this, saying, yeah, I'd love to see this. 
um, and I'll give it a run. It might only be a one episode run, it might be a many, many episode run, I don't know. But if there's interest, even a small amount of interest, I'm willing to give it a try. So there you have it. I consider this one a victory for Humble Bundle. Not a massive victory, but a victory nonetheless. Alright, I'll see you in the end.